Good morning, true crime friends. Rise in true crime, child. It is time to get into all of your latest true crime gossip here at Gossip Rumor and Innuendo. Look! Those Adelsons, the Adelson crime family. For those who do not know, there is an entire playlist of all the gossip related to the Adelsons dropped right here on your favorite gossip channel. But look, we need to talk about these jail phone calls that are coming out from Charlie Adelson and now Donna Adelson. The tea is scalding, scalding. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Starting this morning with a nice cup of coffee. There are miles to go before we sleep. Look. So, the Charlie Adelson phone calls have been being dropped here on Beyonce's internet, and everybody is talking about them, including me. Now, look, I am getting my source material because I want to cite sources. My source for this information is um, Pretty Lies and Alibis. That's another YouTube channel. Miss Gigi over there, Gigi McKelvey. Gigi, she over there doing the Lord's work. She over there doing the devil's work. Whose work is it when you are out here listening to other people's phone calls? Snooping. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know, but I am loving it. So look, this is what we have found out. First of all, these are basically criminal bloopers because these po folks are giving up the entire game. Y'all talk too much. I mean, listen, and I say that as somebody who also talks too much, but y'all really, really talk too much because y'all just saying everything. So they have Donna over there on the phone calls and she's like, well, yes, I'm going to flee the country. But like, what am I supposed to do? Da -da 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 -da. And how am I going to tell Charlie? Because Charlie needs to know we're fleeing the country. Ma'am, ma'am, you know, your cause the lawyer told you your home phone is tapped. The recording over there on the jail phone call said, yes, the jail phone calls are being recorded. And this heifer is over here. But I'm going to give her a little bit of grace, just a teensy, teensy little bit of grace. And that is that she's on the phone talking to her son who was recently convicted of murder, right? And they're like, oh, this is so sad. This is so terrible. Oh, Lord, what else going to do? Not exactly in those words, but that was the spirit of what she said. And then the call cut off on her son's end. Now, listen, when they stop recording, there's a voice that comes on that says the caller has hung up. And then, you know, the recording is done. But no, no, no. Uh, Charlie dropped out because the reception was terrible, but you never heard the caller has hung up. And so, oh, Miss uh, Donna, did I call her Ruth? I always call her Donna. I mean, whatever. I get them names confused. But Donna Adelson, oh, she keeps running her mouth. She probably had just like a little Bluetooth or something in her ear. She wasn't even paying attention. She's just running her mouth like she's always running her mouth. And, um, Chow picked up her saying, we're leaving the country. Daniel Rochbaum told us the way to do it, gave us information to help. Rashi, you over there breaking the law? You breaking the law for these mamalukes? Let me understand this. You are willing to risk your bar card, your 20 some odd year law license for these people who are clearly guilty, who are obviously going to prison? Look. We all know, you know and I know, that Donna Adelson is not on first name basis with the truth. Her and the truth, the truth is like, I don't know her. The truth pulls a full Mariah when it comes to Donna Adelson. She's like, mm-mm, I, no, I, I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know her. And Lord knows, Donna Adelson, she don't know nothing about the truth either. She's not even truth adjacent. That heifer just outright lies. Open her. And you know how you can tell she's lying? Her lips are moving because she always lying. So look, maybe Danny told her, Danny Rashbaum, her, hus her son's criminal defense attorney, told her she could leave the country. Maybe not. According to her, what he said is, well, you could give it a shot. You might not get out, but um, you should certainly give it a try. Really? Really now, they've also decided to set up uh, a little system where all their lawyer friends log on to the Leon County Jail phone system so they can have legal calls and do private calls and, and get messages to Charlie. Really? And y'all talking about all of this on the jail phone calls. Here's the thing about a criminal conspiracy. It's supposed to be a secret. Maybe... Maybe nobody, Donna, girl, you needed to take criminal 101. You just out here winging it. There's a lot of areas where you can wing it. You go cook a new meal, wing it. You go try and find a new route to the airport, by all means, wing it. You know where you don't want to wing it? When you fly in a plane, when you commit a crime, a bunch of other circumstances that don't come to mind right now, but you certainly don't want to wing it on a criminal conspiracy because, girl, they got you on tape. Indicting Danny Rochbaum. Danny Boo Boom, how's it looking from the underside of that bus? Because, child, you right there, say hi to Wendy because they got Wendy under the bus. Oh, they blaming Wendy for all of this. 
Now, people did not have to necessarily believe that Wendy wrote that book and it was about Tallahassee and it was all these fa- veiled, like, shade thrown at Tallahassee. The Adelson seemed to believe that's true. These tapes are going to be beautiful, beautiful in a court of law. My sincerest hope is that they bring Donna Adelson to trial sooner rather than later. Let me tell you something. Miss Georgia Kappelman, she's ready. She don't have to get ready because she stays ready. Georgia Kappelman, she can try this case today. All she would have to do is shine up all of her notes from the Charlie Adelson conviction and just do a find and replace on every single document and insert Donna. Boom. Case is done. Child, she can get a conviction this afternoon. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Donna girl, You going down, but this is what I think, I suspect maybe somebody in Donna's camp is watching my videos. And here's why I say that. The other day I said, one of Donna's big, big problems is that she's bringing in all these big city lawyers or whatever. Thinking they're just going to come in and Miami all over Tallahassee and overwhelm the place. Well, listen, Tallahassee is not stupid. Tallahassee is like, I see you. I know you think you better than me. That's fine. You can think you better than me while you're sitting here behind in jail. Hang on. You know I done talk my throat trying. I got a little froggy living in there right now. <clears throat> so I'm trying to get my life together. Oh, I might need a second sip. Anyway. This cup, by the way, people keep asking me. This cup is available in my merchandise shop. It has a little QR code on the back. It has gossip rumor in your window on the front. 22 fresh hot ounces of whatever you put in it. I put coffee in mine. You want to put liquor? You want to put tea child? That's up to you. Anyway, the the merchandise store, the link is in the description of this video. But anyway, <clears throat> I suspect that somebody in the Adelson camp might be paying close attention or just got some common doggone sense because their um, word on the street is that um, Donna Adelson is interviewing for local council. That is the smartest thing she could do. She keeps bringing in all these people from Miami who don't know anybody in Tallahassee, don't know how to work the levers of power in Tallahassee. She's like, we are Miami. We will walk in and we will just say and do whatever. You know what that has landed you? Three weeks in solitary confinement. Yourself looking crazy and foolish up there on the stand. There's got to be somebody in Tallahassee that is Team Adelson. I don't know who it would be, but there's probably somebody up there. You could find a lawyer and for the right amount of money, one of these nice tally folks will be like, mm-hmm, I'll defend you and I will take a muffin basket over there to the court, to the jail, to the whoever and be like, hey, how's your mom and them? Somebody who speak the local language, somebody who peppers their language with y'alls. And they will be able to get things working in your direction. Because right now what you're doing is not working. You're on a glide path to prison. You're on a glide path to never seeing your grandchildren again. Never seeing that daughter who can't stand the sight of you right now. We know the truth. She, I can see uh, Wendy right now sucking her teeth and rolling her eyes and pretend like you're not her mama. Mm-hmm. Because everybody in that family is out for themselves. Let us be abundantly clear. Wendy is out for Wendy and her children she has no time for you and no time for your mess it was your meddling and you're jumping in all this that got you in this situation and now wendy is dragged in her name is a scandal and she's like "Uh uh-uh k scandalique associated with me no you're not so she's keeping all her distance she's like leave the country if you want to unalive yourself if you want to me and my kids gonna be over here three hours away not dealing with you and your foolishness gone You slip the surly bonds of this earth. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use all of that that trust fund money and whatever else. We're going to have ourselves a nice life. It's not like she could get a job. Who going to hire this heifer? She going to have to change her name to like Sally Smith or something real plain that nobody knows. And maybe take out them blue contacts, put in some brown ones so nobody recognizes her, dye her hair black and pretend to be somebody else. Child. Mm -mm. Her situation is looking bad. But... If she is, um, if Donna, the mama, is seeking local counsel, then she has like a teeny bit more of a shot. Not much. I still think she's going to be convicted. But if she gets somebody from the local Tallahassee area who speaks Tallahassee, whatever that means, because this have to speak Miami. And Miami is, my nose is in the air. I am better than you. I think I can just stomp all over this system. That's not working. Um, also, y'all going to need to leave Daniel Rashbound's name out your mouth unless... He is committing crimes. Now, listen, if he's committing crimes, Danny, boo, boo, you're going to get sanctioned. You might lose your license. It's not going to go good for you. When you are team Adelson, you, you about to go down, my dude. I don't care how much money they promise you or how much influence or how much, whatever you about to go down. But 
Who knows? Like I said, these Adelsons lie every time they speak. So who knows? In other news, hang on. The other day, I was a substitute streamer for my true crime, my real, real streamer, BFF, Brandy Nicole Churchwell. I don't know that her middle name is Nicole. I have decided that her middle name is Nicole based on absolutely nothing. I like the way that rings. And so to me, in my mind, she's Brandy Nicole. And I'm from Indiana where people frequently will call you by your first and your middle name. So I'm over there on the 13th juror with um, subbing in for Brandy Nicole who has some errands to run in the afternoon. And I um, introduced the crowd over there to the emotional support chicken. You know, now listen, I stress crab. When I'm stressed, oh child, I'll knit. I will knit. I will crochet. I will spin. I do all kinds of stuff. I do punch craft. I do paint craft. I build things. I have wood. I have PVC. I have all of the tools. In fact, I have an entire she shed dedicated to crafting and then after once I outgrew the she shed um I also have an entire attic and with my son off at college I took over his room but he did not appreciate that turns out um young adult boys don't want you and your yarn all over their bedroom even if they not home hmm. duly noted so now when he's not here it's just my yoga studio Shh, don't tell him so anyway I have made some side chicks because, you know, they just was sitting here off to the side and I had given away a batch of side chicks, but then I had extra chickens, right? And I'm listening to the, the closing arguments in the Bryce Rhodes case. I did not follow that case because, you know, I got to maintain my good mental health and this is what good mental health looks like for me. Now, bad mental health, child, you don't want to see because it's a situation. So I had stress crafted a bunch of chickens, but they didn't have beaks. And I was like, okay, so I'm going to start working on some of the beaks. And then the more they talked in that case and I found out how horrible it was, I was like, oh my God. And so I, I, I had some emotional support chickens a variety of emotional support chickens with different color combs and then i realized the combs are good for absorbing tears right so you could just sit there and calmly pet your chicken and calm down and dab your tears tears with the comb here's the thing when i make crafts i get a bunch of them i like them i love them my earphone thing is trying to fall out whole fast earphone whole fast anyway um, when I make crafts, I give them away, right? I always just give them away. And so people were all in my comments, like, give me a chicken. Here's the thing. You, I'm a real nice lady. I'm originally from the Midwest. I now live in North Jersey. I spent a whole, whole lot of time in New York city. You know what you're not going to do? Talk crazy to me. Cause I don't get down like that. Now, listen, if you come into my comments and you say, yes, please, I would like to receive a chicken, then that is fine. But um, if you come over here demanding stuff, that's not going to go good for you. I'm going to have my pinkies out and um, I'm going to talk bad about you to your face and possibly talk bad about your mama. So y'all going to need to govern yourselves accordingly. I understand that people want chickens and I have come up with a system. There's only 10 of them, right? It's not like a cast of thousands. My crafts are never, never, never for sale. They just are not. They never have. I mean, they used to be years ago. I used to make all kinds of stuff and sell it on Etsy, but I did not enjoy it. I only make what I want to make, when I want to make it, when I'm in the mood to make it. And then when I feel so moved, when the spirit moves me, I give them all away. I've done it a whole bunch of times. People of this channel know that I've given away crowns. We were all queens. Where are my crowns? I don't even know where my crowns are now. Probably gave them all away. I've made crowns. I've made chickens before in variety of colors and sizes. We have bunnies. And now our latest thing is these emotional support chickens, which I will be giving away. There are only 10 of them available, right? And so um, the information on how to receive a chicken is coming soon. Now, priority will be given to members first. Like, you know, that we have a member thing on the channel. Members get first dibs. It's not that many members, non-members, so calm down, relax. But members will be given priority. In fact, just this morning, I dropped the information on the professional gossip level and above of how you go get your chickens. So professional gossip people, people at the professional gossip level and above, go on and watch the video that's called Insider Information um, in your members only feed and you will see all the details on how to get yourself a chicken. Tomorrow morning, in this very morning video, I will tell everybody else 
how to get yourself a chicken. Here are the rules. You can't have received a crown or a chicken or a bunny or any of the other things that I gave away before. You can't have received something before. And you got to follow the directions because there's people who's like, yes, please, I would like one, which is nice, good manners, whatever. And then they never provide an address. And I'm like, girl, how am I supposed to mail it to nowhere? Anyway, so that's the scoop on the chickens. Um, So those will be in the mail probably around the first of the year child no it just depends when my free time frees up but also if you end up not getting a chicken do not panic i'm always stress crafting in fact one of our good good true crime friends gave me an idea for what the next craft will be and just this morning right before i started posting this video i found a pattern that i love and so um the next emotional support little thing it's coming out soon. It might not be emotional support. It might just be something I enjoy making. And if I, enjoy, I actually have two options, but if I enjoy making this first thing, like I think I will, then they're easy to make. They're fast and I'll have a whole bunch of them and we'll have a whole bunch of those to give away when the spirit moves me and not a moment before. But look, our next case, we need to talk our next case. Our next case is going to be Barry and Honey Sherman. Do y'all know about them? These Canadians up there in Canada, the billionaire couple, apparently there is a Netflix documentary coming out about them in June, but I have been on this case for years and years and years. Dateline, 48 hours, 2020. Everybody has covered Barry and Honey Sherman. It is an unsolved murder of a billionaire couple out of Canada. Oh, I, I, I have solved the crime. Now, can I prove it? No, no, not in a court of law, court of law. Y'all not, y'all know how we roll. You not here for facts. You here for gossip rumor and innuendo. We fact adjacent. Anyway, so um, we are going to do a deep dive on the billionaire murders of Barry and Honey Sherman. Oh yeah, sometimes we do current cases. Sometimes we do old cases. Sometimes we do unsolved. We just do whatever we want to do over here because this is the people's channel. And by the people, I mean me. I just do what I want to do. There's very few areas in my life where I can just run wild and do whatever. That might be a lie. There's a lot of areas in my life where I run wild and do whatever. Although I've been making it work for me. But um, in this, I, this is my channel. This is your channel. This is our channel together. So whatever case I feel moved to do, that's the case I'm going to do. Just like we did the whatever case of Natalia Grace, the troubling case. I don't know. Y'all remember Natalia Grace Child? That story, that story was nuts there's a playlist for it. anyway so um next up barry and honey sherman we're gonna be talking about them we're gonna do a deep dive and i'm gonna break it down in the way that you enjoy the way only i can that sounds so arrogant it's not uh, lots of people gossip child i'm not even just like the best gossip out here i just enjoy my craft and by craft i mean listen everybody got a gift you got a gift i got a gift we all got gifts my gift the gift of gab, as you can tell, child, she's loquacious. I, that means I never shut up, but I do it with my pinkies out, and I do it with good spirit. Okay, y'all, listen. Ooh, I think I'm having a flash. Maybe I've just drank too much coffee. It's warm in here all of a sudden. Anyway, oh, thank you for the advice on how to get my chimney fixed. I have called a chimney sweep, and the entire situation is being investigated. Whoever told me why my chin chimney was leaking, because I had no idea. I didn't even know who to call. Thank you so much. I am eternally grateful. Now, look, I need to get out here in these true crime streets and I need, some of the chickens don't have beaks yet. I need to put some beaks on some chickens. I got to make lunch for my husband because you, I ain't make him dinner last night because I fell asleep. And um, I'm going to get on with the rest of my day. You get on with the rest of your day, too. Make it a good one. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.